I'm gonna be starting a bird shot versus buckshot versus slug series. So I'm just gonna take something and shoot it with all three bird shot, buckshot, and slug to compare the effects of each shell on whatever target I've set up. So since I'm always shooting at water jugs, I figured for this first test, we'll do a water jug test. And I have a bird shot and a buckshot shell here and a slug just so we can see the difference between all the projectiles before we get started. So here's some bird shot. And then right here we have some double op buck. Nine pellets. So it's pretty much the same thing, just round balls of lead, but these ones are a lot bigger. And then over here we have our slug. So here's our bird shot, our buck shot, and our slug. And the slug's obviously just one solid chunk of lead instead of multiple projectiles. Before we start our test, I just wanted to show you exactly what shells I'm gonna be using. For the bird shot, we're gonna use the Winchester Universal target load. For the double op buck, we're gonna be using the Suprema. And for our slug, we're gonna use the Winchester two and three quarter inch one ounce slug. We could use a more powerful version of any of these three types of shells, but I thought this would kind of just be like the standard for each one. Not the most powerful bird shot or buck shot or slug, but not the weakest either. Okay, so we're about 50 feet away from our jug. Obviously, the further away we get, the less effect we'll have with our bird shot and buck shot. Not as much with the slug since it's a single projectile. But at just 50 feet, I think this is a little closer than you'd ever get in a hunting situation. Although in a home defense type of situation, this might be a little further than your shot. But since we are at just 50 feet, we should see a little more effect than if we were at a hunting type of distance. Especially with our bird shot and buck shot. But anyways, let's see what this bird shot can do. Now let's try the buckshot. Now let's try our one ounce slug. Okay, so here was the results from that. This was our bird shot, a bunch of little holes. Our buck shot, which annihilated the jug, and our slug. I expected the slug to do more than the buck shot, but I think we hit it high and right, right there. So since it appears we didn't get a very good hit with our slug, I'm gonna try that one more time. Okay, our first slug, we didn't get a very good hit, so let's try that one more time. Okay, so we actually got kind of a bad hit again. Our second try with the slug, we hit low and right. You can see the entrance is there. That's why the jug just flew straight to the left about 10 or 15 yards, because the impact was straight on the right there. But anyways, one last look at everything. Our bird shot hit right here. You can see there's a bunch of little holes. And then our buck shot, did that to this jug. The buckshot just devastated the jug. You can see little buckshot entry holes right there. And exits on the back. And both of our slugs weren't very good hits, but they both did quite a bit of damage to the jug still. Had I hit the jug center, it probably would have done quite a bit more. But I guess I just keep shooting to the right for some reason. With our second shot, I aimed a little lower, but it still hit to the right. 
our first shot hit high to the right. But either way, still pretty effective on the jugs. But anyways, that's all for the bird shot versus buck shot versus slug water jug test. Thanks for watching.